What's up, y'all? Smash them likes. Hit that subscribe. It's that time again, y'all. Cooking with Frank. All right, so I'm late on this news, but uh, we all know what happened. Diddy finally got caught, you know, or arrested or whatever. And a lot of people just, you know, we want to know why it took so long. And we also want to know who's next. Because it's going to be some other people that, you know, take that fall with Diddy. He's not going down alone. I promise you that. There's a lot of people in Hollywood that are very nervous right now. And for good reason. They went to them parties. Yeah, they was up in there slipping and sliding around with Diddy with the thousand bottles of baby oil. <laughs> what in the hell would make you buy that many bottles of baby oil? They should convict you off of just that. <laughs> that don't make no sense. Now, as far as his charges, we know he's facing uh, sex trafficking, racketeering, you know, basically RICO charges. So the thing that uh, the thing that he's going to go down for is the sex trafficking part. You know, they found some drugs and some guns in his house, too. But he's probably he was probably worth a billion dollars. So. You know, the guns and drugs, he can he can beat that. We've seen people beat gun charges and drug charges, you know, that people that got a lot of money, but the sex trafficking thing, flying them females in, drugging them up, yeah, that's the part you're gonna get in trouble for, P. Diddy. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't feel sorry for him one bit. I don't like to cheer for somebody going to prison, but if anybody deserves it, it's it's Diddy. <laughs> yeah, I've never, ever liked him. You know, I think he got rich off the backs of other people and then kicked them to the curb. Shit, some of them came up missing. Yeah, so there's going to be something to say about that too. But yeah, there's going to be some more charges coming down the pipe for some popular people. A lot of people mentioning Jay-Z. Some people mention Beyonce. Uh, what's the record executive that quit? Kevin Lyles, he quit. Yeah, there's been a couple people quitting their jobs like they're going to skirt the issue or something. Like, no, nah, if you was at a slip and slide party with Diddy, we need to talk to your stupid ass. <laughs> I don't care who it is. It could be LeBron James. It, it could be anybody. It could be Shannon Sharp. I, I don't care who it is. And Cat Williams told us. He said all them deviants is going to pay in 2024. Now, as far as where P. Diddy is being housed at, I heard it's in Brooklyn. And he complaining about that. That's why he tried to up $50 million to the court for bail. Tried to put himself on house arrest and be monitored by some private security company. Like, no, nigga. <laughs> no, you're going to sit right here, dog. It's about time in Puff's life or Diddy's life that somebody told him no. And he got to work with that. No, we're not putting you in a better facility. We don't give a shit what your lawyer is arguing about. No. All that shit you did, Diddy, and you want to talk about you uncomfortable? You should be uncomfortable. Shit, if it was me, I wouldn't even send him to federal prison. I'd let his ass sit right where he is. Yeah, it's time that you learn how to obey the law. Somebody tell your ass no, that means no. I'm, I'm going to be honest, man. I, I feel, you know, I'm kind of divided on this, but I'm actually happy that they showed one of these punk-ass billionaires or power brokers or people that think they're above the law. No. When we tell your punk ass to sit down, you sit down. You don't get to go home. You should have tied up your loose ends before we came and got your punk ass. And I heard something about that. It's being reported that he came to New York, but he had, you know, chartered some other private jet, and they think he was going to run. There's a reporter named Michelle McAfee or something like that. For, I think she wrote for Boston Globe or something like that, but she was saying there was, there was, I don't know how true this is. I got to say allegedly. But P. Diddy had some private jet. He was getting ready to run. Like I said, that's yet to be seen. We can't, we'll never probably get the answer to that. But we do know that his ass got locked up and that judge, the judges told him twice, no, you keep your 50 million, bruh. You can't buy your way out of this one. 
Yeah, P. Diddy is one of them people, man. I just I just never liked his character. I always thought there was something shady about him. You know, I think he uses people, abuses people. And it's time for his ass to pay. It's time for his punk ass to pay. I'm glad them judges are being strict on him. Hell yeah, he's a flight risk. But you gonna try to do the Russell Simmons? And I want to let y'all know something about those countries that don't extradite. All that means is they're not going to go out of their way to extradite it. Like if P. Diddy went to whatever country and they don't have any extradition laws, that just means they won't go out of their way to extradite him. That does not mean the U.S. can't come get his ignorant ass. <laughs> yeah, there's a difference. That country is just telling you we're not going to send you back to the USA, but that doesn't stop the USA from coming to get you. Yeah, if they want you, they come get you. But I, this has been a long time coming, man. And I just want, is it worth it, y'all? Would you want to live, you know, would you want to be a billionaire and then at 54 years old get thrown in prison for the rest of your life? Yeah, I'll pass on that. I'll live my life regularly. <laughs> but yeah, this is his attorney. And this guy is a great attorney from what I hear. He's a great attorney, but he ain't working with shit on this one. <laughs> yeah, he, he just there for the paycheck. He he in this he taking one for the team. The law firm is gonna make a ton of money, but they gonna lose. Talking about the inhumane conditions. <laughs> you think somebody cares about the conditions that Diddy is being held in? No, nobody cares about that, bro. You're not about to play the sympathy card with that dude of all people. Nobody cares about that, man. So I want to see what he's going to come up with because they've already thrown some ideas out there talking about Cassie was cheating on him. and So that means she got to get her ass whipped? That doesn't justify what he did to her. So what if she cheated on him? <laughs> Shit, he was cheating on her too. That sounds like an even trade to me. Shit, yeah, but I'm glad she got her little money out of it. Hey, pay up. And now he's trying to up another 50 to get bail. No, you sit your punk ass here in this jail, because that's where you jail. <laughs> yeah, he in there with the bums, straight up. And they got him in the SHU. I guess it's the special housing unit. Because, yeah, Diddy is special. Yeah, I wonder how special he feels right now. But there's one other character that I want I want them to catch up with too. There's one other character that I want them to put it, lock their ass up for a minute too. Guess who it is? Another time again. After the rain for the sun gonna shine again. That's right. Don't bust no you Shut the fuck up! <laughs> yeah, feds, come get his retarded ass. <laughs> Yeah, because King Combs, somehow he thinks he's Diddy. But he learned from his daddy. Yeah, he learned how to assault the women. You know, smack them up, drop a couple pills and they drink. <laughs> you know, yeah, he learned all that from his daddy, you know. Yeah, because his daddy taught him that he's better than everybody else. And he can do whatever he wants because he's King Combs. <laughs> yeah, the little retarded Lion King out here running the show. Yeah. Well, you and your daddy won't be having no more slip and slide parties, boy. <laughs> yeah, I know it's been real hard to catch up with your daddy. You know, he wear a lot of body oil on his body. <laughs> he had baby oil all over his body. That's why it's hard to get a hold of him. But they got him now, King. Yeah, they got him now. So you get to watch your ignorant ass daddy go to court and possibly do the rest of his life in prison. He definitely getting some time. The only question is, is it going to be life or not? But yeah, you and your daddy won't be. No, nah, no more slip and slide parties for you and your daddy, King. <laughs> All that shit is over with. And it's going to be some more people that go down with you. Don't worry about it. And the thing that I've been thinking about, nobody brought this up yet, but you know Diddy is a drug addict. Now, can you imagine the withdrawal symptoms that he's having right about now? It's been a whole day going on too. Imagine the fit that he's having in that joint. He don't have his drugs. 
You got to eat that garbage ass food. Yeah, that's where your ass going, King. <laughs> hey, get it out the way early while you young. Because your daddy might not see another day of freedom in his life. But anyway, let me know what y'all think. Who's going to be next? It's going to be some names popping up real soon. Because anytime you face in life, oh, you're going to start telling. Yeah, then he going to start telling. Hell, his son might tell. Shit. He already told him, told on his daddy in that retarded ass song he made calling himself dissing 50 Cent. Yeah, he told him, yeah, y'all got the wrong house. It was next door. Yeah, that's why your stupid ass need to stay off that microphone, boy. We can look at you and tell you under the influence of drugs. That's a lot of drinking and drugging for a kid. But anyway, enough about him. Smash them likes, hit that subscribe. We're going to report back on this in a minute.